Ooh, the Dark Falcon, uh, the skin switch, actually. Anyway, game one, it is going to be on town. Look at that. Absolutely. I still got it. This is grand finals here at Xeno Wi-Fi, number 65. This is going to be Dark Falcon versus E minus. Um, this is a best of five set. And if there's a reset, we are getting two best of five sets. So right off the bat, we already see Dark Falcon playing a little bit more forward than we're used to him seeing. Honestly, definitely showing a little bit how um, Dark Falcon, this is probably one of their most um, strengths, obvious strengths that they've been having out of this whole um, tournament. Definitely showing their advantage state and, you know, making very obvious call outs on a lot of the players that we have seen and Z's minus being no different from them. But, you know, definitely showing that this could be a very different set than from the first game that they showed. Oh, excellent holy water to cover that um, side B from Falco. Uh, and we'll get a, a decent punish off of that too with that dash attack, uh, clearing the landing zone and uh, giving Dark Falcon a little bit of room to breathe. But right back into it, Z minus is getting these combos started at this chip damage is adding up. And there it is, All the right. up tilt back here. Bring it around town. Up smashing the holy water and not, never punished. But that F tilt. Falco is a light character as well. So uh, this ledge trapping, if it is good from Dark Falcon, might end up taking stocks pretty early. What was that hitbox? What was that hitbox? Sheesh. I mean, definitely showing that, you know, Falcon could have just as good an advantage as Dark Falcon taking that first stock on, you know, very, just a very good showing in from Z minus. 100%. And uh, yep, up tilt combos. Now, in the low percent factor, um, this is definitely where Falco tends to shine a little bit. Um, getting these combos, you know, you could up tilt into literally whatever you darn well please. And uh, yeah, okay, good call out from Dark Falcon. So I've been seeing Z minus jump up in the air and throw out um, Reflector just to just to cover um, the space in front of him. But Dark Falcon hasn't been biting on those, hasn't been jumping to contest it, and definitely has not been throwing axes at all. But a beautiful little string there from Z minus, getting him off stage, catching the landing with an F smash, and then forward airing off stage to secure that stock. That was just an amazing call out there from Z minus. And that actually led to death. That's very good on his part as well, taking advantage of, um, you know, Dark Falcon having a very hard time off stage. Um, but yeah, honestly. Oh, yep. Down throw back air. Dark Falcon is bleeding here um, in a very vicarious uh, position. A situation? What am I talking about? Uh, situation. And oh my wow. God, he made that back. Just barely, is... too very crazy 100% and uh oh that's not gonna kill great DI from Z minus as well oh oh yeah wrong <laughs> wrong direction Whatever that could that have been a very disastrous situation <laughs> jumps into it's the still axe living here oh he's gonna whiff on that holy water as well jumps in a little bit too far roll back yep all right good catch uh good frame trap with that back air dark falcon Stopping the bleeding a little bit, but it's going to take one interaction uh, and then Z minus is going to be uh, readying up for game two. But I mean, if Dark Falcon... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry. No, it's okay. Uh-oh. All right. Calling out these landings right now. Dark Falcon's bringing it back a little bit. Does it again? Okay, not going to get much off of that. The down tilt. All right, Z minus in a bad position right now. The F tilt, not gonna kill just yet. Really good positioning, good DI. Oh, and he catches that one. What a comeback. Wow. <laughs> that was such an amazing comeback coming in from Dark Falcon. Oh my God, break down what we saw here, Jazzy. Well, as we can see here, just gets hit by that um, F tilt um, showing their very, um, you know, obvious habits of wanting to air dodge in and just making all complete use of that just making sure they don't have any time to come back to stage no chances whatsoever and just completely obliterating him very nice coming in there from dark falcon wow the dark falcon was down that entire game until the very end there and they were able to pull it out what a what an excellent job there from dark falcon um so yeah going into game two um one thing that oh, going right back to town okay interesting 
Um, one thing I definitely can say for Dark Falcon is that they are incredibly good at frame trapping. Um, and it's netted them quite a lot of stocks, and uh, it, it, it definitely looks really cool. Uh, and there's a good reason for that. It is really cool. Um, and it's been able to net Dark Falcon um, either entire stocks or even even games just because of how potent he is at it. Um, but yes, honestly, definitely showing a little bit of a um, you know safer game here. Just trying to um, control a little bit more space and trying not to get hit by as many projectiles as you know he was getting last time because that was also the cause of a lot of issues just um not being very aware of his you know disadvantage and just getting hit by a lot of things that could have also been avoided yeah but getting right to work z minus is taking that first stock um just being a little bit smart about their aggression um but a good punish from dark falcon on those lasers and he has him off stage again this is where belmont's really excel whenever they are dictating where you are how little stage you have but Getting right back into a combo of their own, it is Z minus. Putting up 33, not ridiculous numbers for Falco, but um, every little bit helps, especially when you're in the lead like this. And now now we see Dark Falco starting to bleed at the true 69. Uh, but yeah, up tilt back air. Very close to losing the stock. Um, are both of these individuals as well? Oh, and, wow. Very nice reflection coming in there. But honestly, um, gonna take that stock but definitely liked how that's probably the second or third time that z minus has up smashed um holy water and definitely like that just as an option to kind of remove um holy water from the equation when um you know dark falcon chooses to recover yeah absolutely and um if you connect a, a, a hitbox with holy water as it's coming back no matter who throws it um it is it is neutral both people can get hit by the flames so um, if Dark Falcon isn't ready to avoid that, it could be pretty bad uh, down the line. But z is putting uh, Dark Falcon in the corner right now uh, and trying to keep him there, but avoiding it with a little roll. A couple up air strings into um, another up air. All right, both these guys at mid percents right now, but Dark Falcon one stock fewer to their name. I think it's going to come down to if Dark Falcon can keep z at the ledge. Um, but if Z-Minus is free to do their own thing and just avoid Dark Falcon, um, it could be pretty bad. And those lasers are actually coming in huge as well. Mm -hmm. um, definitely something that um, is really noticeable is that, like, you know, uh, we've seen before that Z-Minus definitely has their, um, you know, options and disadvantages that they tend to make very noticeable. But, you know, that doesn't really matter if, you know, he can't actually get into disadvantage from um, Dark Falcon, just putting him there, you know? So if we could kind of keep this up, we can definitely see a little bit more of an easier time coming in from Z minus. Oh! And... <laughs> the dot too! Dark Falcon feeling himself, even though they're very close to losing this match. That's gutsy too. Uh oh! <laughs> oh, it didn't kill, never punished. Yeah. Uh oh, no jump Falco. Oh, that was almost it right there. We could no. have seen, you know, Z-Minus get obliterated in that one second. That would have been yeah. just wow. If Dark Falcon was just a little bit closer to the ledge, that would have, that F smash would have connected. And see, we're seeing a, a repeat of, of game one right now where um, Dark Falcon is, is down the whole time, but bringing it back right by the end. And Z-Minus just having a hard time sealing the deal on that last stock. Nope, good DI. They're going to make it back. Um, oh, good shield pressure, though. The down air, not going to go into a combo, though. And now Dark Falcon's at the ledge. Yeah, F-Air is going to kill. Yeah. Definitely wow. making, you know, use of that option to jump out, um, from ledge. Just very much good at calling that out, you know, because if you didn't, then that really could have been a bad situation for either of those players. But very That's... nice coming in for both of them. Yeah. Man, that, that little combo that Dark Falcon had, though. Again. Dark Falcon is just really good at calling people out and, and hitting these flashy out of nowhere combos. Um, I, it's not this one, but it's a little bit. Now this is this is the first stock that Z minus takes um, with that forward air. Goes off stage, hits him with another one. Yeah, two timing him. Little simple edge guards like that, they are effective. 
Um, I mean, anything yeah, that can nurture the kill is just amazing, especially on this stage. 100%. I can probably think, uh, like half of the characters in this cast can just make extremely good use of, um, you know, the blast zones. Right. But just very nice coming in there from Z minus. Hundred percent. And uh, here's the thing about that: that was game two, but it feels like it was a lot bigger than that because the net swing from that is enormous. Because now, if Dark Falcon won that game, he was up 2-0. But since he lost, it's an even set right now. And, uh, you know, that pressure is still alive. Dark Falcon coming from loser's bracket. Does not have a guaranteed reset. Oh, but that combo. That, a zero to death. Ooh, that was such an amazing combo. Um, coming out from Dark Falcon, just taking care of Z minus, not letting him have any room for mistakes. Absolutely. Amazing. For the for the first time to set Dark Falcon with a stock lead. I mean, wow, just not letting, you know, Z-minus have any fun, you know, any damage they can take <laughs> is just being, you know, taken right back from them. Just saying, what? absolutely not. This is, this is my stock. This is my stage. You'll be having none of this. Yeah. Earlier on in the set, um, Dark Falcon was not biting uh, and throwing those axes whenever uh, Z-minus was jumping, but Z-minus is catching. Yeah, see, there it is. There it is. Um, next time, Z minus is gonna try to get a punch off that. But there's the uh, there's the up smash coming in clutch there with the uh, holy water. Um, but like as I was saying before, Dark Falcon was not biting on uh, throwing those axes into the jump uh, shine. But now that's starting to become a bigger and bigger factor um, that Dark Falcon is is suffering from. Uh oh. I mean frame trap. I was really close to being the game actually. It might not have looked honestly, like it, but if that if that returning cross hit, that was the that was the game. Definitely, honestly, hoping to see you know, Z minus just maybe relax a little bit because honestly, he's just choosing all of these options to get back to stage. But honestly, you know, granted, you don't want to be off stage, mm -hmm. but like you kind of need all of that you know, space to to just make sure that Dark Falcon can just you know throw out all of his buttons and then when you're ready you feel like it's a perfect time for you to just kind of just then plan your attack and kind of spend that time. Just... There it is. Wow. Another frame trap from Dark Falcon to steal that one. Farewell. Crazy. And honestly, in all of those positions, we've never seen anybody who's been caught in that position ever jump, you know, just like kind of being aware that like whenever somebody's in the air, like they're not going to choose to kind of um, put themselves in more position to die from, you know, just a, a stray, you know, like, axe and or up air. Yeah, the thing about um, Dark Falcon uh, as of as at this point, like, in this set, is the fact that they, every time they try to net kill, see, that, that's what Z-Minus did not want to have happen to them. They thought, oh, if I air dodge here, I avoid that. But no, no, Dark Falcon was like, okay, he's going to air dodge, let me throw an axe. Boom. And that's the game, like... And that's what I'm saying. Dark Falcon is so good at patiently waiting uh, for somebody to mash air dodge and try to just avoid these uh, aerial combos that they have. And you know, Dark Falcon is so good at getting people to bite on that. And once Dark Falcon starts putting pressure on you and you start feeling it, you start mashing options and you start realizing, oh God, I gotta think, it, it gets really hard for you. And uh, the difference between winning and losing feels astronomical. Absolutely, just making sure that, you know, z doesn't even have time to kind of just consider that, you know, there's th th there's not going to be too much uh, of fun going on here. You know, they need to make sure that they just kind of calm down before, you know, they just start spiraling out of control. So kind of a bold choice from z to come back to the stage. It was one apiece uh, on both of them, but Dark Falcon was able to net ridiculous comebacks. Um, both games they played here. One of them actually netting them the game. Oh! And the axe actually going around the shine that time. Okay, yeah. Now Dark Falcon is really in their stride. And they, they, they kind of starting to smell the blood in the water. Um, because they realize, if we win this, that's a reset. And I have a chance to... I have a much better chance of winning the entire tournament now. And that, as attention starts to build for Dark Falcon, they only get better. And that's actually the second time we've noticed that um, Dark Falcon has actually jumped out of Z-Minus' combos. 
just showing very good awareness on their part because you know we've seen dark falcon just absolutely make it hard for z minus to get out of you know all of his you know um frame traps and whatnot but not letting him get that same thing which is very good from their part 100 percent z minus is struggling here a little bit i i think they they might be uh phoning it in a little bit um you know hitting the hitting the little combos but yeah i mean they're they're not playing very defensively um oh man is that it that is it yeah. and then we got a reset on our hands ladies and gentlemen barely mm -hmm. over two minutes into the match as well man i mean definitely showing that this you know z minus was not in the right time in the right place you know he it, he was just not ready for it yeah honestly <laughs> If there's a couple things Dark Falcon is very good at, we've mentioned it a hundred times, it is definitely frame trapping, but it is also catching landings. Um, and here's a little highlight from that last game as well. Dark Falcon going on the stage, getting the down air. But yeah, that was that was the victory. Anyway, um, Z minus coming down now. Yeah, there's the roll in F smash. And that was that was big. Um, that that evened up the game, but. As soon as that stock was taken, Dark Falcon just went to town. No pun intended, of course. Uh, and, and just started, just, I don't know, like, z is really struggling that last game. So, 3-1, to one, Dark Falcon takes the first set of brands. Um, hopefully, z is able to get better stages for them as well, because I do not think that Town and City was doing them uh, any favors. They took a, they took a game there, but they, they realistically had a couple better stages uh, at their disposal. Um, but for so. sure, yeah, definitely. Hoping that, you know, Z minus can hopefully start kind of um, you know, you know, branching out into very different um advanced situations because as we've seen there, you know, in the in the beginning we definitely did see a lot of um really good um combo routes, but towards the end we definitely really saw less of, you know, Z minus actually putting on a lot of damage, you know, granted there was a lot of situations where he couldn't actually, you know, do anything because he was off stage or just getting ledge trapped. But, you know, when it comes to situations like that, if you know that you can't, you know, get to that kind of space that you want to, you have to make sure that whenever you are in an advantage, you are taking, you're taking them for a whirl, honestly. 100%. So this is going to be the reset. Um... As you can see, Z Minus's winner's tag under their name was crossed off. Uh, this is true finals here. And already Z Minus is starting to play a little bit of a different game, you know, getting combos and damage where they can, um, and, and more so trying to call out Dark Falcon. But they put themselves in the corner, um, but they're able to get a roll behind up tilt and get a little bit of damage started. Honestly, I think the slower the pace is, it's gonna be end up being better for Z Minus. Um, because they need to play back a little bit. And they really, I, I think the thing that's really throwing them off is uh, Dark Falcon's tempo. Um, Absolutely. Because Dark Falcon, when they're dictating the pace of the match, they they can they can really just wreak havoc um, and, and make it a lot harder for uh, anyone to, to deal with. z needs to know when to shirk back into neutral as opposed to trying to push. Because um, they're just playing a little bit too aggressively and jumping into this uh, zoner's... Um, disjoints and projectiles so just a little thing to note here so out of all the times um that z minus has gotten hit by holy water has even i feel like most of the time like at least from these um this game that i remember most um certainly that he's been actually sdi'ing up yeah and that actually allows dark falcon to actually get more time in order to follow up off of those holy waters Oh, see, I didn't even ponder that. A good up smash call out there, too. Yeah, Jazzy, that's a really good observation, I think. Um, normally, you want to DI up out of out of things like that. Like, PK Fire, you want to DI back because Ness doesn't have a lot of range. Holy Water, if you DI back, it's it's really difficult for, um, uh, for you know, you're going to get hit by those disjoints. But, yeah, if you DI up, you have to wait to land and as well. Um so you have that little bit of stall time in between uh, for Dark Falcon to get a better punt. Yeah, Jazzy. Pat, pat yourself on the back for that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, definitely just making sure that um, <laughs> we have everybody just notice everything. But it's okay. Um, <laughs> oh, oh. Nice axe. Going through the stage. Very nice. Um, yeah. But yeah. 
just making honestly light work of Z minus. You know, Z minus has not been able to have any type of fun in yeah. this game whatsoever. Look, when a Falco's not having fun, they want to try to have fun, so they're gonna push a lot further. Oh, and that down smash, yeah. Waiting on ledge a little bit too long. Good call out from Z minus. Here we go. Even game again. Z minus was able to crawl their way back into this one. Um, time will tell. Oh, great reflector there. Keeping them at bay and was able to uh, hit him into that holy water as well for extra damage and reflecting it for the reflector uh, modifier as well. There Very is. little bit um weird on that uh, tech chase right there, but still definitely um, more in a uh, you know very I guess. <laughs> um, sorry. It's all right. But yeah, <laughs> Matt Shellen. <laughs> <laughs> nice back air. Oh, that's a clip jump. Yeah, that's a dead Belmont. Z minus to get in the lead in this set. Uh -oh. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, um, if if Z minus has been winning this set anywhere, it's definitely off stage. Uh, epitomized by those lasers clipping that jump. Yeah, and uh. Yeah, honestly, just like how I lost my train of thought, he lost his stock real quick by that just one small button. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> but that's like the most even game I think we've seen this entire set. I mean, like no one, no one had a real clear cut advantage for most of it. But yeah, see, there it is. There's the DI up from uh, that Jazzy was talking about. I was able to get an angled up F smash. But yeah, um, so getting into this next game town definitely city. hoping it's not town and city hopefully it's going to be town and city amazing <laughs> lovely <laughs> yeah z minus is uh really keeping uh the stage off the ban list um which i understand because you know you, you you took a game here but it's two to one right now and uh whenever you give dark falcon a stage they like they they get really happy and you can tell I mean, look how they're moving right now. They're too happy. Maybe that was a strategy. Huh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. oh. Well. Could have been bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely I'm hoping to see a little bit more or yeah, more so a little bit more is definitely whether, you know, if at, um not FD, um, if Lila is actually on the table here, because honestly we've definitely shown I mean it's been shown how that could actually be a very hard time for other, anyone who's not Dark Falcon. Yeah, but... um, good point. That's pretty close quarters though, in terms of how the stage is. Um, mm -hmm. So I have a feeling Falco could do pretty well there as well. Also home field advantage, but another roll in F smash, uh, Z minus gonna catch you on that. But he is close to the ledge. Doing a good job of gaining back that ground though. And uh, another hold in center. The stage real estate on this stage is really important because if, uh, if you're at ledge against the Belmonts, wow, that holy water was so smart. Oh, and the axe, yeah, frame trap. Yeah, honestly, we're just seeing how, you know, Z minus is not really choosing to make a little bit more um, conscious decisions when they're at ledge, just because yeah. that's where, you know, Dark is just getting most of their damage run. He doesn't really have to even do much because he just knows that Z minus isn't really going to choose you know, to just do any of the right options. So he's just going to kind of cover all of them as he needs yeah. to. No, Dark Falcon's doing a, a really good job of fading back into center. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, good reflector there. Um, whenever they need to, like, just give themselves some breathing room and uh, start pushing Z minus back into the corner. Like, when they realize whenever they've kind of lost a battle and they like to reset in order to get... Um, you know, get their bearings back and, and, and start developing a, a counter-attack plan. But the forward air, uh, gonna get Dark Falcon off stage. Yeah, nice roll read there. Uh, and that F, the down smash is able to get, oh! Nice back air. Very nice. Definitely breathing a lot more life in this game than he's done in most of these other games yeah. so far. And something I've noticed, I don't, I'm not sure if you're seeing this, but Melly is definitely slowing down a little bit. Uh, oh, nice clip. Oh, unfortunate. But yeah, Melly's playing a little bit of a, uh, a, a slower game. And uh, we've noticed before that whenever Melly is, is dictating the pace of the match, it's being it's a lot difficult for their opponent uh, to figure out what the hell to do. Um, but right now, 
Z minus is taking this really slow. Oh no, is he dead? That is 40% full charge <laughs> smash. Oh my god. Oh my god. That 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 was that's, wait. <laughs> that's it. That's it right there. Z minus again dictating the pressure or the uh, tempo of the match. And like, look at that. Playing it real slow, not doing all too much, and yeah. Oh, the the punish on that, the spacing. He's gonna get back to ledge, try to get up attack. Uh oh, you messed up, son. Just so crazy. I that was just maybe a little bit placed far ahead in Vans. I'm just a little bit, you know, um, <laughs> still delirious from what just happened there because that was just oh wow. Yeah. I mean, just man's got read so far that. He just got sent back into the Shadow Realm, honestly. Absolutely. And now Z-Minus is really comfortable in this matchup. Uh, they are up 2-0. True finals. If they win one more match, it is game, set, and match. The tournament is over, and Z-Minus goes home with uh, the win. Going back to PS2, though. And uh, kind of a perplexing stage choice, I think, from Dark Falcon. Because, as we saw... Um, Z minus was able to win here just a, a couple games ago. And okay, nice. okay, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Well, I was gonna say that um, very nice because you know Z minus has been showing a little bit more of a diverse um, you know advantage in this game here, and I actually thought that he was going to um, place a um, reflector to catch that landing, but maybe I'm just uh, <laughs> thinking a little bit too much. But is that I'm not going nope, to be dead, but jump. for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Very and... nice stuff coming in. All right. It looks like Z-Minus is doing a really good job of mixing Melee up. Uh, you know, throwing in uh, some Tomahawks and uh, getting the pressure rolling. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, Dark Falcon's alive still. But is it worth it? Will they get one bit of damage in before they lose their stock? Definitely. I love the parries because he's gone for the parries. I think about oh, two times wow. that we've seen so far. That was a very nice kill. But very good one. Just waiting, just doing it a little bit too early. That parry on fair right there. Definitely just need to wait a little bit more before they actually parry that. Yeah. Um, I'm not entirely sure if um, Belmont actually has a very fast option out of shield, which I highly doubt. But uh, I'd say their no. their uppy is a good scoop, but it's not. It's not like frame four or anything. Yeah. I think the safest option sure. they could do on a shield is probably down tilt. Mm. But even even again, you know, that's that's not horribly safe. Oh, but here you go. The pressure is starting to build up. And now Dark Falcon getting a combo off. Not going to kill. Wow. Break the up from Z minus. But uh, now the momentum is starting to swing a little bit. Melly coming back to life. Z minus needs to uh, not play into this higher pace tempo. Um, they need to play back and they need to start going a little bit more passively because once they started slowing down, they were able to get a lot more going before. But now the throw Absolutely. off stage. But yeah, for sure. Another thing too is that honestly... Oh, wow. We've definitely, oh, oh. We've definitely seen that um, Dark Falcon is just making all these crazy reads, especially on situations where it's just like, you would never expect someone to use kind of an option like that. Yeah. Um, but definitely a good call out from right there, just making sure that, you know, he can kind of get a lot from what he's choosing to do, an advantage, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good reflectors there. Double reflector from Z- minus to avoid that. Oh, okay, yeah, Dark Falcon was fishing there for the kill, but um, not getting overzealous. You know, they were like, okay, I really can't do much here. I'm going to reset. And uh, they did. But they are off stage again. Let's see what Z- minus can get. Back to center. Z minus is struggling here. The back air, not gonna kill. Lasers, not gonna connect. All right, the tether back on stage. Not going, okay, yeah, a lot of pressure. A lot of moves being thrown out. Oh, the sour spot back air though. All right, once again, back to the ledge. Oh, and the down tilt could have said straight up. All right, Z minus has a chance here to win the tournament. I mean, see honestly, if they can. just ready to see, you know, all of the schmicks in right here now, because this is honestly where it all counts. Just being a little bit, staying more grounded from what we can see here in um, their little bit signs, but they definitely need to make sure that they can still control the space as better as they can, because if, honestly, if not, then, you know, 
this can definitely see um, you know, Dark Falcon actually taking this game. Ooh. Yeah, Dark Falcon putting the pressure on really well. Uh, something I've, I gotta call out is that at this point right now, Fal uh, Dark Falcon is really not getting hit by too many um, reflected projectiles. Uh, but right now, oh! Not no, gonna good kill DI. Just yet. Uh, that is really close to death percent for Falco. The back air, not gonna kill. Good DI again. Also, not the sweet spot. Uh oh, axes, fire. Oh, the frame trap Ooh. forward throw is gonna kill. Close to the ledge. Dark Falcon stays alive. But only just farewell. Definitely showing a little bit more life there because as we um saw a little bit there, um Z minus actually chose to wait a little bit before he actually, you know, um came down and actually chose to just wait a little bit so that he can probably get that up tilt and just kind of get a little bit more advantage going. But sadly enough, he SDI'd up and air dodged into the stage. Definitely something he's done multiple times and just something that Dark Falcon could not let go of. Yeah. If he did, then that definitely could have been Z minus's game for sure. Yeah. Look at that drag down down tilt though. Oh, crisp, beautiful chat. Absolutely. Um, and uh, wow, well, I was gonna say something else. I completely forgot. I think at this point, Dark Falcon has uh, Z minus's panic options down pat. And even if Z minus hasn't really been, uh, you know, giving them as many options to you know start taking stocks, it's definitely, um, you know resorting back to your basic instincts whenever you're in a pressure situation. Um, but anyway, going into game four, seeing town and city yet again. Love it. <laughs> All right. And this set, I believe it is one, no, sorry, 2-0 here uh, in favor of Z minus, I think. No, it's 1-0 in favor of Z minus. I think it's 1-1 one, uh, one on uh, PS2. Oh, uh, yeah, um, for sure. Um, but wait, no, sorry, yeah. sorry, it is it no, is two two it's here. Two? Yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Um. So honestly, definitely, this could honestly just be one of the games that um, Z minus actually chooses to put their um, you know, skills to the test and actually show how much of a, an adaptation they can make in such small time, because this is where it matters because if he tips on just you know letting go all of these situations where you know we've definitely seen a lot of um very bad situations from both of these players um he can definitely choose to just take this game right here with mm -hmm. just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit coming in from him yeah you gotta put some elbow grease into it to win this one um these players are both getting tired you know they've had long tournament runs today um dark falcon actually had a little bit of a scare earlier um, going to game five of uh, their losers final set and then they had to come through and play against the person who eliminated them from uh, winners in the first place. So they're definitely starting to feel it a little bit and Z minus um, being reset is starting to feel the pressure a little bit too. Um, but here's the thing. This is going to be a slower paced game uh, as it looks right now. Two minutes in almost and um, a stock not being taken. And this is where Z minus plays better against Dark Falcon. But Dark Falcon is moving and they're going really fast like you know being super aggro um they're winning because they're dictating the tempo of the of the match uh but when z minus is playing passively uh and waiting to call out these options from dark falcon um they've been they've been winning so i i think this game might be indicative of that it might be uh, a foretelling of the beginning of the end um for this set because these guys are both playing a lot more defensively instead of the hyper aggressive offense from the Belmonts that we'd like to see from Dark Falcon. It's all about um, who's in control. Absolutely. Definitely just getting this very um, scary game right now because honestly, whoever takes this stock first is probably going to have the most um, you know comfortable time here. And as I say that, taking this first stock with that down tilt is Z minus. Now, hopefully, we can see a little bit. Of some extra credit coming in before yeah. um they actually you know lose their stock but yeah honestly oh um, great combo oh getting a little Ooh. cocky there aren't you z minus i mean but, you know it's 62 percent on that next stock that's good stuff from z minus too i mean we have seen um dark falcon actually just adapting a little bit changing his you know ledge option habits which is actually probably one of the most situations where he's actually been called out at so definitely really good coming in there from Dark Falcon, just making sure that he's, you know, not getting a little bit too autopilot -y and just um, being very careful about how he chooses to come out. Of, uh, I'm seeing a lot of jump from ledge mash option. 
uh, from Dark Falcon. Oh, wow. Excellent use of iframes there. Back air not going to kill just yet. Oh, yeah, it's... No! Angle up. He's going to live that. Not hitting the spike, though. Dark Falcon's still alive, and that rage is building. On a stage like this, you know, with really good ledge traps for the Belmonts. Oh, uh, and, you know, he's in the corner. Could be bad. There it is. The angled up back air. Now, this is a really scary position that we can see from here because, honestly, if, you know, Dark Falcon uh, just doesn't die as he does die, um, <laughs> this can honestly... Commentator's fortune telling. <laughs> um, gotta get some of those tarot cards going. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Um, just honestly... This could honestly just go either way at this point. I mean, definitely want um, Dark Falcon to have a little bit more life, um, making it 2-2 um, two, two, very even. Um, but if he doesn't, I mean, it's just going to be done and done. Oh, and it? Oh, yeah, there it is. The ledge trap. Very nice coming in there from Dark Falcon. Amazing. Okay. Wonderful. Farewell. Beautiful. Peace sign, but with a thumb. Game seat. five, chat. Game oh, five, yeah. true finals. I couldn't have asked for a better set thus far, honestly, because these guys have been a joy to watch play around each other. I, I don't think you would disagree, Jazzy. I mean, honestly, it's it's been really interesting to watch, especially since we are seeing Dark Falcon, you know, really showing us a lot from him because we don't actually have too much, um, you know, um, Belmont representation. Especially mm -hmm. since no one's going to play that other ugly Belmont. What is his name? Hey, hey. Is it like Salmon? Si si Simon? Simon? <laughs> he, got that, he got that Prince Charming from uh, Prince Shrek who? 2 looking hair. I'm going to say... He, he looking like uh, Prince Charming from Shrek 2, you know? But like Honestly, a Mel Gibson version. If we're going to be very honest, this is more like Princess and the Frog. And he's the frog. <laughs> I mean, but enough of that. I see it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, getting into this next game, playing Dark a Falcon. little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this is their tempo, and they're playing really aggressive. Oh no, the platform! He's good. Whoo wee! That was scary though. Absolutely. Um, All right. But yeah. But these, these guys are playing really even right now. Dark Falcon showing plenty of life right now. And Z minus is just trying to, you know, comprehend these approach options from uh, Dark Falcon and uh, space really well with that reflector. Honestly, that shine has been kind of underrated in this match. Um, Absolutely. You know, not too many reflective projectiles hitting, but it is really good at covering the space immediately in front of Z minus. Um, and you know, when they jump, like no matter what they do, and and honestly, that is that is really big in this matchup. Like covering that much uh, with your burst range is is good. <laughs> Oh, it disappeared. <laughs> yeah, um, it, it yeah. wasn't able to hit the ground in time. <laughs> um, I was so yeah, sad. For sure. it, I, I, honestly. Uh, but yeah, Um. so from, I mean, what we can see here, this is definitely not going to be an easy game for either of these players. Definitely making sure that they will not let it be as even, I mean, um, as, um, you know, more equal as possible Um. for them. Yeah. You know. This, this match feels similar to last game, um, where the stocks haven't been taken for a while, but definitely a lot of uh, moves being thrown out this time as opposed to last time. Last time they were playing a lot more passive and defensive. Now Dark Falcon, um, you know, still dictating the tempo of the match and taking care of that first stock, but Z- is actually able to um, play up there with Dark Falcon um, and still play quickly around and, and just cover a lot more options. Oh, but the, uh, the call out was not uh, there. The up smash would have taken the stock, but it didn't connect. Dark Falcon to make it back. Yes, good call out there. Very nice call out there, right there. Yeah. But, um, definitely something I would actually like to hope to see from Z- is actually maybe to even go for a little bit of, um, edge guarding, because you do have a Nair that is, um, multi-hit move that can actually, um, you know, to kind of disrupt, um, you know, Simon um, Belmont from actually getting back to stage with Whip. So, I mean, Honestly, I, I do understand that they are trying to, um, you know, just kind of keep the Ludge Trap situation going. But, I mean, we've been Ludge Trapping here for, uh, <laughs> on both sides for <laughs> about, like... A little bit too, too much. Yeah, oh. so definitely want to see a little bit more. Oh! But... Turbot stock! Absolutely. The same thing we've seen from, you know, Z-minus, but he can absolutely make this stock. 
That's and... match. All yes. right, it's even game. Amazing. This Could not have expected right this now. to go any other way. Last game, last stock. Will it be last hit? Time will tell. But right now, Dark Falcon wants this to be put to bed early. Z minus answers right back with a little nifty combo of their own. 50%. All right, the back air getting him off stage. The cross not going to connect, though. Oh, but the reflector. Get him on that platform. The up tilts. The up air. The another up air. Gets the platform. Okay. Very nice landing coming in there from um, Dark Falcon. Because as we oh. see, he's actually... Ooh, been having a little bit of a weird time landing, but just trying to keep, you know, his balance as, you know, safe as possible before he actually, you know, gets thrown into a spiral. Oh, no. Oh, the axe is not going to do it! No! Good DI! Oh, oh, he gets the double! The other axe! Not going to connect, though! Good DI from Z- minus to avoid that! The frame that, trap. Oh, that oh. honestly was just she was so not, scary. He's going to do it! <laughs> the <laughs> oh no! Yeah, he taunted right at the end there! <laughs> Dark Falcon! Dark Falcon I mean, with the run of a lifetime! Damn, he just feeling himself there, ain't he? Just winning a tournament like that. I see you. That's crazy. Look at it. It catches the angled up back air too. Gonna land, throw out the taunt. Oh, well, it got cut off. But uh, you, you, you get my point. Look at that catch though. I mean, that's honestly, gonna feel that was Dabs. Just, wow. Woo! Hey. Excellent effort from both of these players by oh man <laughs> Jazzy, let's give it up for these guys that got could not have I'm flabbergasted right now. That grand finals was so damn hype. It's it's Ooh. late in the night, uh it's eleven uh twenty almost, but and I am always down to watch some some good high octane tri-state smash. So your champion tonight Stay is Revenant's very own Dark Falcon. So Ooh. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, if, if, if any of y'all feel so inclined, uh, oh, sorry, he choked. Would have been my first Xeno win, too. But definitely hype. Hey, oh. Z minus, nothing to be upset about, my friend. Excellent showing there. And, I mean, uh, honestly, know, the truthfully, animations from they were insane. And another thing is we are we were able to get to um stream these later halves of the game. So honestly, don't be too sad because you have all of these like games to look over. You know, how many games did we have tonight? We had like 12. Okay, yeah. I can't really do math, but that's not the point. Um, <laughs> with a bunch of different, you know, things that you can um, watch over, um, just doing your best to actually just make all the necessary adaptions as possible.